Well, hello folks, this is Rod at Win By Doing. Today I was just gonna do something a little bit different. I was gonna go live with maybe a topic and share a little bit of the stuff that I've learned today, or this week actually. And it has to, uh, let me see if I am actually public first before I get too far into this. I have made that mistake before and how do I, where do I see that? If anybody's out there, please let me know in the chat if you can see or hear me. And the internet can totally see you now. To stop, use your encoder. Oh, there's, hey Lonnie, how you doing? Thanks for jumping in. Anyway, I know you know people that have seen some of the Facebook posts and stuff know that I picked up hats this week. You know, I was about to get completely out of the hat business, but I said, what the hell? When I went to this garage sale, we'll talk about what I did. I went to this garage sale. They had a huge table of hats and I went in, not going to buy all of them, even though the first day they are $3 a piece or, um, I, I'm trying to think $3 a piece or it was like, um, three for five dollars or something so i decided to go back the second day and i picked some out and i, I hand picked these and really because I, you know i've sold hats i've tried selling hats before and i have tried doing sports related i think the market on those is pretty saturated especially um newer hats so my main goal going into this one was i wanted to go automotive heavy equipment, farm related, and I always pick up something a little bit odd. So I just wanted to go through what I did learn through some of the chats and what I picked up and how well I've been doing. Hello, Don. Hello, Steve. And again, hello, Lonnie. So, um, it, you know, mainly I'm, I'm going to talk about the vintage trucker mesh style hats. And if you're not I'm sure all of you are familiar with the style, but this is the mesh back and the trucker hat with the wide brim. And something particularly you're gonna look for is, is patches, any patchwork. So basically I spent $3 and I think I picked up about 10 or 15 hats. I posted it on Facebook and um, someone asked me if they were K products. And I'm going to switch over here and share my screen. If you're not familiar with it, hey Scott, how you doing? If y'all are not familiar with the K Products brand, because I had heard, you know, here and there about K Products, but I didn't know, and my head's covering most of it up. This is the K Products emblem right there. And I thought it would be on a. Hello, cat. I figured it was going to be on a label on the inside. So this is something I did learn. Let me find. This one has it right here and now. It's, it's actually on the inside of the snapback. And yes, this is a snapback. Oh, let me. Let me transition back over. It's on the inside of this. You know, the camera's not gonna, I doubt it's gonna pick it up, but there's a little label. Let me go down, I'm trying to see underneath it. But right in here on the inside of the snapback is where that K Products logo is. And these, it, it really only had it, uh, that, that was the only label on most of these. So I guess I was just gonna go through, you know, I, just the, that was a brief story. I picked these hat for $3 and just to kind of give you an idea within an hour of listing a couple of them, I'm gonna go back over to my chat, make sure nobody else has um, joined. The, the first one that I'm going to go through, and these are the ones that I actually had bids on within an hour of actually listing. This um, Ford tractor's equipment and something to also not worry about from what I understand is this foam lining. 
it was it, it on most of these old hats his foam is deteriorating one of them i actually took a vacuum and vacuum vacuum completely out but i listed this one on for 75 dollars starting bid and like i said within an hour i got my 75. hey john what's happening today's topic is hats and what i learned and i'm just passing on the knowledge to y'all if you haven't ever some of you this might be old hat but <laughs> For um for me this was this was a lot of new stuff that I hadn't I hadn't learned before so I'm just gonna go through some of the ones I got bids on real quick and then some of the variations that I had we'll go to that one in a minute here's a king of beers Budweiser king of beers the, no patch you'll notice there's no um it, it's and it was an old an old logo I had never seen um it written like this before so i naturally had to pick it up and again you'll see it has a foam lining there's a stain there on the inside not necessarily too bad on the headband and i, I just always take a picture of the tags as well that one's made in manchester tennessee and this one i already got a bit and this was again this would probably take about three or four hours um, I finally got uh, my first bit of 15. And then here's the other Ford one that I picked up, Ford New Holland. You know, Ford and New Holland, both tractor manufacturers. This one, I already within an hour of listing, I, I got my $75 bid on. And the odd thing, after I listed these and these started going... I'll switch back. Well, I'll go ahead and show here. I, I I knew I picked up at an auction for probably three or four bucks. I don't know four months ago. A lot of hats, and there ended up being a lot of Richie Brothers auctioneers. I think it's a local auction house. I don't know, and I just thought they were. I thought that I, I just thought they weren't going to be worth anything. I didn't think I was going to do anything. I actually thought I was going to go um, donate them, but I noticed on the back of the hat was the K Products logo. So I thought, you know what, the, what the hell? I'll go ahead and just list one. I listed two different types of them, and that was this hat, or one of the hats. I've got I've got it in in the other room. It was actually. A snapback like this one but with the black and white and this one I've already got um, two bids on at 750 so I'm glad I didn't toss those in the garbage or send them to Goodwill and decide to go ahead and try to list them once I found out about the K products brand who knew I this guy didn't so I thought you know what there might be some people out here that hadn't heard of it um, before Man, I was out of the hat business, and now you drag me back in. You know, I'm not completely in the hat business, but, you know, I, at least I have a better idea of what to look for. And you guys know me as an eBay hobbyist. I try all kinds of things. I try to learn as much as I possibly can. That way, I you know, you're better informed when you go out sourcing. So now I'm going to be better informed about hats. Right now, I, I pretty much stay away from... Uh, sports related, like I said, I think that that market is pretty flooded. I do have a few vintage. Uh, go through here. Um, the only other one I I, you know, I picked up this Alabama. Oh, let me transition. I've got this uh, Alabama, the one that Lonnie asked if I had burnt yet. <laughs> and the only reason I, I still got it listed is because it's an uh, old. I want to say that 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 uh, logo went out in the 80s or 90s. Scott could probably tell me because he's a huge Roll Tide fan. So. <laughs> but um, yeah, so those are the hats. So I, I thought I'd just go through. I, I went and pulled up, just looked up the keywords you're going to want to look for or use when you're listening to hats. It, you want to use mesh, um, snapback, and you know you guys saw the snaps on the back. 
you'll want to use um, trucker hat and this is just to kind of go through what some of these are going for you know it looks like sodas are are doing pretty good is you know coca-cola you know i don't know what the best offer there 850 for this the, and these are foam if you haven't seen those I, i've got um I don't know if it'll pick it up on screen either, but these are pretty much like a foam front. That I think that'll give you some idea of age as well. But I was just scrolling through there here, and I just couldn't believe it. Uh, Coca Cola, Seven Up, you know, Pepsi, all your old soda caps, and a lot of those you can look at the um, the logos that determine some of the age. Of course, you know if you follow any. Uh, I know the Mountain Dew hat. I don't know if I've ever seen a Mountain Dew hat. I, you know, I think I did younger, but um, eight hundred and fifty dollars. John Deere. You know, if if you do have looked up hats, you see them in the Facebooks all the time. Facebook groups all the time. People uh, making a killing on these uh, John Deere hats. But you know, here's some more. This is where the automotive starts flowing in. There's a Michelin. Uh, it, you know, I even sold that Michelin. I think Michelin is a, a promotional item that if you find that stuff laying around, I think that that's sought after on anything, not just the hat. Love the beard. I just learned how to reshape the foam hats with the foam missing out of them. You'll have to let me know or a afterwards leave the leave some comments down below because I would love to know because I've got a couple of them that are this Budweiser one in particular. This one actually has all the foam on the inside, but it's pretty out of shape on the front. I, I, I haven't even, it's even got the little hanger still on it, but. Um, switch over as all my hats fall down. I don't know why this this Tennessee fell in there for 310, but like there's 76. You'll see a lot of this, you know, adver advertisement, um, soda, uh, anything that's farm related, um, oil and gas or automobile related. There's another one of those Mountain Dew hats that went for, f f well, but they took a best offer of. Um, somewhere underneath there I mean here's a PT for Faro Joliet Illinois construction I mean I, I think probably the draw on that is the backhoe sitting there I have a John has a purple pumpkin and lighted plastic ghost there's really good YouTube videos on how to reshape them I will have to check that out love the bearded but some of these things that some of these advertise advertisement hats are even though they're they're local just like the auctioneer hat of course am i going to get much than much more than that seven dollars what we're only time will tell you'll see it in my next haul video i'm sure but you'll see a a, a common theme on most of these hats are bringing the top dollar there's cat um cat heavy equipment um some there's a yellowstone moose but something else you'll look at is that's pretty desirable is anything with these big patches, and um, I, and I've heard that you, you'll see a lot of folks over overseas. There's a draw for them over there as well. Yeah, I actually uh, the that one that's drawn the that I got the up to seventy seven dollars on. I've got it sitting here. I am just throwing money on the floor. It's not that one. Oh. This one, here, I'll switch back over. This is that other one that I got, I think it's 75. You'll see inside here that the foam is just totally broken out of it. And one, one hat I actually took a vacuum to. I've got a um, premix hat in this lot that I just took the vacuum and took the foam right out of it because it was that bad. I was actually going to toss it in the garbage or donate it and that's when I asked in, in the Facebook group um, if there's any value to them and they're like yeah just vacuum it out is the room clean beyond the camera lens of course it is 
Of course it is. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that's my wife making um, crap comments about the filth of my room. <laughs> I need to have my wife come down and clean it for me. And then, of course, you got these lots. Mack trucks, $222.50. But it just goes on and on. So, you know, that's kind of where, I, where I'm at when I'm out here looking for them. Is anything farm-related, heavy equipment, uh, automobile, and soda. Soak them in hot water will dissolve the foam. Now, I... Now I'm fairly new to this, so if it's if it's at all gone, do you get rid of it all? If if only portions of it, do you if it's fairly intact, do you leave that and just leave it up to the buyer to remove? Hello, Cindy, how you doing this evening? So anyway, that is what I learned, and then we have also just so you know those Richie. Um, those Richie Brothers Auctioneer. I have a few of them. So basically what I was going to do was just test them out and put them out, start them out at $5 auction and see where I was going to go with them. Another one that uh, Steve... told me about was these... Um, It's it's like military. You'll find this this on a lot of military um, uniforms and stuff. But the keywords for these is scrambled eggs. So if Don wants Cindy's dog, I don't know. I Cindy might have something to say about that. But the keyword for this is scrambled eggs. There's probably other terms that are that are used for it. And I thought I brought that hat out, but just to give you a... This is kind of what that scrambled eggs pattern has on it. And I didn't pick this one up before the, because of the scrambled eggs design, because I learned that after the fact. I just picked it up because it says plumbers have bigger tools. You know, you know, you, I, I like to pick up my oddities. You know, there's a lot of terms. It probably originated from the military. There's a lot of um, terms that come from the military that folks use. I can Google that. Well, I probably wouldn't. Wikipedia probably wouldn't tell you where it originated. Scrambled eggs, American English, or scrambled egg, British English, is slang term, typically leaf-shaped embellishments found on the visor of peaked caps worn by military officers for the senior officers who wear them. So I, I'm sure it did originate with, um, with the military. I just can't cannot confirm or deny and oh, I, I was going to say I was going to try to open that image. You'll see there. Uh, did I go too? Did I go too far? There you go. Oh, interesting. United States Air Force General Nathan Farragut Twining. Um, we have a park named up a state park named after him here in Idaho. So. <laughs> For whatever, it, you guys didn't need to know that information, but hey, it's just expressing how much you want that dog. <laughs> Don's having diarrhea of the, the thumbs texting. So, um, what else was I, I think that was, I know I wasn't planning on coming on that long. I just wanted to share, you know, what I found out. Uh, tell, you know, basically, if you're finding the K brand, I, I showed, I think I, I pulled that logo up a second ago, or K Products Inc. Look for it on the back of the 
the snapback and for those of it it's basically I'll, I'll just it's basically you just flip to this one isn't k brand but you just flip it over and it'll it'll have the logo right in here i was looking for it honestly on a tag somewhere when someone says are they k brands i'm like i don't think so i don't see any tags and then i felt like a total idiot whenever i stumbled across it and found it um using your keywords mesh snapback trucker's hat if it has a scrambled eggs that that leaf looking thing use that because that's a search term and you're going to want if you find them with a the big patches that's something else that uh that pe that are desirable now by sodium my hot water in the sink when the foam is removed place on an empty paint can while wet spray the heck out of it with hairspray with a cardboard ba backing set aside outside to dry <laughs> <coughs> I'll, I will try that on a hat that I don't think is going to be um, that that I don't think is going to draw that much money. How many total hats did you get? And were they all from the set? They were all from the same sale. And it's kind of an odd, st I mean, an interesting story. You know, I was doing flea markets earlier in the year and I had a gentleman approach me about a hat collection he had and wanted to know if I was interested. Well, I had given him my number. I never got a call or anything. And um, Don, the the scrambled eggs there. That's probably another term for him is laurel, laurels. But I think in layman's terms and these collectors, I think they're they're looking for the scrambled egg. Uh, th that keyword that that they'll know it if you put scrambled eggs in there. Scott, you're gonna to have to go go to the um, go get you some uh, clearance Aquanet when you're outsourcing for FBA. <laughs> but um, anyway, I I I almost guarantee that this guy is the one that had that had reached out to me. It was back in I think April. But anyway, I just happened to stop at the garage sale. The first day was. Um, Friday and they're wanting it was like three dollars a piece or three for five dollars and then I didn't pick it I, you know I was thinking about it and I didn't pull a trigger on anything just really because I, I wasn't I just wasn't sure if I wanted to go through and look through all these hats because I, I was really out of the the hat game I'm because I I've still got hats that I've sold and I had these other hats that I've been sitting on for quite some time because they there most most hats are going to be a, a long tail but when i went back saturday and you know it was it had been raining off and on earlier in the morning and i um i saw they i, I walked up and they're like you know what they are um five for a dollar or fill a bag no fill a bag for two that's what it was so i filled the bag and um i picked up a couple of more i mean i i think i probably ended up with two, four, i think about 10 hats and i paid i gave them another um buck sitting on your hats don't rest on your lords oh <laughs> lonnie's a jokester tonight good one no pun intended but <laughs> So I, I went in and gave him three dollars. So I paid three dollars for all these hats. I think I had roughly forty cents a piece in them, and I'm already up. You know, I was showing you a while ago. I've got well, one of them I had from before. Sorry about that. One of them I had before, but I I know I had the two for one's up to seventy seven. Uh, 750 on this one and like i said this one surprised me just for the fact that it was a it's a local auction house and that's what i put in there auction black and white mesh large patch snapback trucker hat made in usa and it was that one was a k product so you'll see all those keywords oh let me transition You'll see all the keywords that I used in it. 
but even some of these don't don't be afraid to try if it, if it meets those other criteria don't don't be afraid to try to put them out there and see what you're going to get get out of them so you know i had 77 750 that one i got a bit of 15 on the budweiser the four there's 75 and i want to say that was those are the ones that i have bids on at the moment but i was pretty shocked that's why i want to jump on and is that your girlfriend who the heck is yes that is my girlfriend but cat introduced me so i i don't feel too too bad about it good dance off music play it again let's boogie rod is busted i'm always busted i'm always in the doghouse it seems like but i keep find, trying to find a way to keep out of it but it just comes naturally to me so anyway that I know it, it's just a short, um, short st stream or you know live show, but it is um, it's just something I want to pass on to those those of you that may not have tried selling hats. I do not recommend just going out and buying the biggest lots that you possibly can. But I want to pass on some of the information that I have learned that had turned profitable. Uh, this week i mean it just it really blew my mind and um, hopefully you guys can use it if you didn't already know it um, if it was just a refresher thanks for hanging out and and sticking through it with me but that's going to be it for me tonight watching well thank you lonnie i do appreciate it i am um you know it's it's a it's a huge learning experience for me and and it's it's a fun one too but um, yeah, that's it for tonight. Thanks for hanging out. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. But, you know, give me some, uh, let me know why. And maybe I can cover that information in the next video. But I will catch you all later. Peace out.